All right, what's going on, you Siamese wild boars? Today, it's like the first video in a very long time that I've done. I know it's been so long, guys. I'm sorry about that. And uh, hopefully we can get this grind back going. And uh, hopefully I can just get in the groove because right now I'm really not, you know, I, I had my first stream, I, I think it was on uh, Sunday. Sunday, and here it is, Tuesday. I, I mean, I missed Monday, damn it. I already missed a damn day. But anyways, today... It's a QA and a video. I didn't know what video to make as that, you know, sort of first video back. I still got to do the COD Champs uh, vlog. And I think it, it's, I'm really going to do it more on a comparison between uh, Call of Duty Championships. Uh, the ones I've won at least. And I think that's a good way to, you know, talk about that. Because I'm sure Damon and Matt and Seth have already talked about what happened at the actual tournament. So I think that is sort of like a... Good variety for you guys. Anyways, so as you guys can tell, the background's a little bit different, a little bit wonky. Uh, not really sure about, you know, what I'm going to do or what I'm going to put. I I'm definitely not doing a green screen for the live streams for YouTube videos. Uh, something that a lot of streamers, you know, they probably don't talk about this a lot, but it really bugs the crap out of me. Is those The two bright lights that come straight at your eyes just like fry your eyeballs and and i mean it doesn't really fry your eyeballs but for me it makes me sweat a lot so you know personal preference sorry about that it's gonna look a little bit weird but i'm pretty sure i'm gonna i might just have it like facing my other monitors which are right here and you know it'll be like a white wall just for the time being i got some uh really cool dragon ball super uh posters canvases whatever the hell you want to call them one is of uh, Super Saiyan Blue Goku, and, and then the other one is Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku. Uh, hopefully, I'm saying that right. It's basically a blue one and a red one, and uh, you know they look dope. Of course, and they're like fan art, sorta, but they they both kind of match. Anyways, let's get this started. First question, probably the best, easiest answer question that was from uh, the, you know the whole Twitter thing was. Uh, do you think Seth lays in a garden and pretends to be a carrot? Or pretends he's a carrot? Yes. Next question. What are your thoughts on roster mania and all the new teams formed? Well. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I know evil geniuses. And. I sort of know like half of other teams. But I don't really know. Uh, any other teams. I think I know some other rosters that aren't really official official, so not really gonna I'm not that guy to you know be that guy. Have no idea what uh you know other rosters are going on, but Evil Geniuses, solid roster. Uh that's all I really know. Next question is uh do you think the move to boots on the ground cod will widen or, or close the gap between Optic and the other top teams competitively? Um good question. Hard to say. Obviously, you can't really say. You know, who who knows? Maybe we're jetpackers. But in my opinion, I think that when you increase the uh, the vertical scale of maps, it's just like some people are going to feel more or less comfortable. Boots on the ground. You know, I'm going to know exactly where they are. Like, for example, I always say this. Black Ops 3, if you're in the center hard point on fringe and you are looking you were you were in the hill and you were looking at Z or zigzag, whatever the fuck you want to call it, L. Um, you would either do I look at the head glitch or do I look hundred feet up in the air? That to me is just describing like why I felt uncomfortable at times in jetpack games is because I didn't know do I look at the head glitch or do I look a hundred feet up in the sky. And realistically, it's all kind of like player dependent, and it's all about keeping track of like who's alive. You know, okay, they're gonna come, they're gonna come to Z. Who, what player is it? And then I think, I think that was probably the best way to go, but didn't realize that until later on in the in IW. Oh, this is a really good question. Uh, Vitey, he's actually a sub. Will you be streaming scrims in the next COD, or is it gonna be off stream like last year? That is another good question. I think you know, it's it's uh. With all the prize money coming into play, with uh, you know all the salaries uh, going up and up, it's just sort of. Uh, I feel like streaming scrims is risky, and uploading scrims is risky, considering how much you know 
how many tournaments, how many major tournaments there were last year. And that was an IW, so I can't even imagine what's going to happen in World War II. So I think that at the end of the day, though, it's going to be a team discussion amongst pretty much every single team. Are you staying in Chicago or moving back to Texas with the team, uh, with the rest of the team? Uh, so what's going to happen, actually, is Dana is in her senior year. Uh, of college so she's gonna finish school and then I'm gonna move so it might be June it might be September like a full year from now that I end up moving to Texas well we end up moving to Texas uh, but until then I'm gonna be in Chicago next question it's so awesome that you like F1 what or it should be who is your favorite F1 driver mine is Kimmy Kimmy's awesome I used to like Hamilton a lot but now now Willow it's all about my man, Ricardo. Especially this last year, I've kind of, you know, he's always been number number two in my mind. But Daniel Ricardo, number one, most favorite F1 driver. He's, uh, you know, he's a character. He's obviously pretty good. Uh, the, something that I kind of realized, I think this is like my third year watching F1. A lot of it has to do with the cars and less about the drivers. So, uh, you know, this year... Mercedes and Ferrari are kind of, you know, tier one and then tier two is, you know, Red Bull. I, I would put Red Bull in T1, but, uh, you know, basically it comes down to that. So I kind of I kind of love the, the direction that F1 is going with all their social media stuff. And I think, you know, it's a really good, really good direction for them. But it's all kind of highlighted how much or how cool Daniel Ricardo actually is. Uh, next question, I'm actually going to do a, a longer, more extensive video on this question, but which champs felt better winning? I would say, I'm pretty sure Damon would say the same thing. I think the first champs that you win is probably going to be the better feeling one. This one definitely felt good to, you know, come back from loser's bracket after winning or losing in winner's final. I'm kind of biased as well because I did, I played amazing at Ghost Champs and uh, this this last champs, I think I played amazing, except for winner's bracket final, and I'm going to talk more about that later. But anyways, next question. So Mike from Dexerto said, if COD went to 5v5, who would you pick up? I've played the maps on World War II. It is, there's zero chance, zero chance it's going 5v5. It's an ice cube has a better chance in hell than Call of Duty going 5v5. This is from uh, Rise's coach, Pac-Man JT, good friend of mine. Known him since Call of Duty 4, back when we were young and a little bit more of uh, assholes. Pac-Man says, do you actually think Man of Steel is good? Or is this a long-term troll you decided to run on everyone that's ever talked to you? Uh, <laughs> I mean, to be honest, I, I, did, I watched it a second time. And it was trash, okay? But the fight scenes were good. The fight scenes were good. And you gotta give me that, Pack. You gotta give me that. But the movie itself was terrible. No, it wasn't. Okay, it wasn't terrible. It was... It was... It wasn't that good. Alright, guys. But that was the Q&A session. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, it was a little short one. But you know what? That's okay. I sort of... I sort of kind of picked interesting, good questions. Right? I, I hope so. I hope so. Anyways, more videos to come. You know me. Pretty consistent when it comes to that. But we will see. Okay? If I'm not uploading, you know, I might have a very Eastern European scary 50 cent lookalike vibe going here. But if I'm not uploading, get on my ass. Okay? By that, I mean tweet me. Okay? But don't tweet me, don't tweet me saying I'm calling me lazy and stuff all the time. Just, just when I'm actually being lazy. All right. So YouTube, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to leave a like, leave a comment as well. Let me know what you guys thought. But yeah, let me know if you guys think of anything else I can put in the background. I really need something because this is not, this is not acceptable. Okay. This might be like a, you know, five, five K subs, YouTuber background. You know, still in their mom's house. This ain't my, this is my place. Oh yeah, speaking of that, two are coming up with that as well. But I really need to do something about this background. I'm sorry about that. I sincerely apologize. 
need to get that handled. Anyways, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.